We had a really fun opportunity to decorate a dorm room at George Brown College. It's a brand new facility, so it was a lot of fun to really tart up one of the bedrooms for our friend Katie. So here we are. Yeah. Decorating a dorm is really fun, but you have to make sure that you know the rules before you begin because there are a lot of them and you want to make sure that you comply so that no one comes over later and tells you to take it all down. Some of them included not allowing for real plants. Anything that we took in had to come away without actually harming the building structure. So no paint, no nail holes. It was all temporary, but we wanted it to look like it was permanent. Exactly. <laughs> what do you think about the layout? Do you think it's okay? Pretty good. Yeah. It's almost there. We started by assessing the floor plan, which really made sense. We just centered the bed because we knew we wanted to layer some wallpaper behind it. The wallpaper that we used is from Huga and West. It's easy to put on. It's like a giant sticker that you put right on the wall. I want to interject because it wasn't that easy. <laughs> it was, it was, once we got going. Two people. Two people. Two people. people. It yeah. Was good. Two I people. shouldn't say it wasn't easy, but once we had a system. Yeah. You need to have a system and line up your pattern. Yeah. That's key. Compared to real wallpapering, this is pretty speedy. Yeah way easier. Instead of filling the entire wall, we chose to just do it directly behind the bed. Right. It made us not have to fill this entire wall with yeah. wallpaper. It was or... easier and more affordable than having to do wallpaper everywhere. Wow. What? Looks Holy. so good. That looks great. Because the bed is the focal point, we really wanted to layer lots of pattern and color. Which was a challenge, because you want it to look haphazard, kind of. You don't want to look like you're trying too hard, but you want it to look good. Exactly. Now you have to give it a really vicious shake. All the bedding is from Bed Bath & Beyond, and I think what really ties it together for me is the bed spread that we layered at the yeah, end. Yeah, they call it a tapestry, and it's got a beautiful medallion-style pattern with really, really pretty colors in it. <laughs> what about this one? No, that's... I think that's too many pillows. What about this one? No more pillows. I think we need to take a break. All right, let's just forget it. <laughs> Pillows were a challenge. We brought a lot of options because we wanted a layered look, so we wanted to make sure we had enough. And it was also about being practical. You can put 400 pillows on a bed if you really wanted to, but you're never gonna live like that. Yeah. So it was kind of editing it down and really deciding which combination works in the space. We layered floor runners from H&M Home around the bed to break up the more commercial grade carpet. We brought in a rattan accent chair from Ikea so that there's somewhere to lounge and sit down. And I love the pom-pom pillow that we put on it. Now, we couldn't put curtains in the window because it was breaking one of the rules, but we knew we wanted to hide away the things that would be in the closet. So we used a tension rod and some faux velvet drapes from Ikea to hide this, but also make it a decorating feature. Oh, it's nice, a little draping. I like the draping. We decided to do an art wall opposite the bed to balance out the wallpaper. We knew we wanted to add some interest, but make it something that Katie could really make her own. Mm -hmm. So Jen planned an uh, art wall in advance, and then we painted some of the mats to really add more personality and some hits of color. Colorful mats were definitely a thing, like in the 90s. 90s are back now. I know, they really are. Because this is a non-permanent application, everything had to be done with 3M hooks. It worked out really well. A lot of these frames weren't super heavy, so between five and two and a half pounds. We chose to leave some of the frames empty so Katie could really just fill them in with her own art and photos. Pictures of her pets, maybe. And we layered it up with a few other accessories, books, and also the fake plants, which I gotta be honest, I was a little nervous about. Yeah, but me too. The succulent style faux plant, I think, is a winner usually because yeah. it looks the most real. Yeah. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I think we did a great job, and I know Katie agreed. Yeah, we texted her some pictures, and she was loving it. I've never liked teal so much as I do in this room. I think the navy and a little bit of the camel colors it's with true. the black and white. Makes it fresher. Fresh, yeah. This was a really fun project for Jen and I because we went to design school together. Yeah. Well, we never lived in residence, but I have a feeling that if we did, we'd have some pretty tricked out dorm rooms. Yeah, totally. 